going to want and you're going to need assistance. And the smart way to do it is not by using your own money. Okay, that is rule number one. You want to be able to establish your finances to where now your credit and you can leverage your credit to pay for these things. Yes, the art is important. Yes, just get started. 100% I'm a firm believer in that. But if this is a business, if this is something that you want to go beyond it just being a side hustle, you want it just to go beyond making a little extra money, you want this to become your main source, you got to treat it like a business. So I'm going to be coming with a ton of content going into the business side of things, things that should be in place as you go through your journey with your videography business, with your photography business. You need to have the business just as the business needs to be just as important as your art. If not, it's going to bite you later on in the future. I promise. I promise you. So here's the three things that you need to consider. Just three. There's a there's plenty more, but here are three things to consider. And mind you, there's a ton more. The first one, this is just business basics. Do you have a business model? Do you have a business plan? Right? Basic understanding of how much is all of this costing, right? I know you guys know how much a new camera costs, how much a new body costs. Very cool. I love it. But how much is the software going to be? Okay. How much is it if you need to start renting out studios? How much is studio space? How much are those things going to cost in the long run? All of your licensing software, stock photos, stock music, stock video, how much is that gonna cost on a monthly basis? Because the reality, and some are exceptions to the rule, you're gonna be spending money before you make money. That's just how business goes, period. And when it comes to creative businesses, you're really spending money before you see money. And you have to be aware of that and get ready for that. And is that something that you can deal with and handle? Because a lot of people get out of this game when it comes to any sort of like creative industry, especially when it comes to the camera, when it comes to video, videographers and photographers. I know plenty who have quit because it is a long journey and you got to be ready to endure that, right? You're not going to be making a lot of money out the gate. Some do. And depending on how you play your, your cards, you'll be doing the same. But you have to understand, hey, there's a slight chance I won't be making any money. The next one, choosing your business name. Now, people are, are on both sides of the fence with this one. Some people say, hey, just pick anything. It doesn't matter. And I completely disagree once again you may make adjustments to your name i'm not saying you, you are completely married to this name but in a way you kind of are for a good portion of time so i made the mistake of one of the businesses i started i called it winthrop burke vigil and it was the worst decision at first i thought it was good because it has my name in it you know people will know it's me brand recognition right those are the the pros the cons behind it. Now, every time I show up for a shoot, anytime somebody wants to inquire or get information, whatever it may be, they're looking for only me. I try to set up a situation to where I started to outsource and hire other photographers and just get them the business because that's ultimately what I wanted to do with the business is I wanted to get other artists to work. I can find the deals. I can find the shoots for you. You go out and kill it and conquer it. How did that backfire was because of the name. Because now, if Winthorpe doesn't come and Bobby Jones go, a lot of my clients weren't happy about that. They felt as if, okay, their work isn't good enough to get me. Which was so far from the truth because anyone that I would hire, anyone that I would put on, their work is incredible. But once again, the name, the name, the name. They hired me, yes, because of the work, but they hired me, right? So now each job they were expecting me. So if Bobby Jones showed up, they weren't too happy, I'd hear it later on. And it would happen over and over and over again, right? So you have to think of a name and think of, okay, what is, is this something that I want to grow? Is this something that I solely want to stick in, 
in video, right? Do I solely want to stick it in photography? So is it going to be one, two, three for photography, right? Or is it something that, hey, I want this to be able to grow into other genres. I want this to grow on its own. I want this to grow even without me. You have to think of that name. And also to go a little bit deeper when it comes to, let's say, funding and financing your business, when you want to start applying for loans and business credit, a lot of these banks, they will check to see what type of genre, what type of business that you have and the risk level behind the business. That goes into another, that's a whole separate video. When you're even getting your LLC and establishing your LLC, you have to make sure you can't just put anything on there. You have to make sure the proper information is correct, as well as the type of business that you have. The type of business that you file your LLC under honestly has its own risk level when you are applying for business funding. So if you have a name that has a risky genre behind it, the chances of you obtaining funding can become a little bit harder, right? So think about it from a client consumer standpoint, as well as from a business financing standpoint as well. And that goes into, into the third one, registering your business, okay? getting an EIN number, getting an LLC, excuse me, registering with your state and any other, and any other local authorities. All of those things are important. The sooner you register, the sooner you establish to the state that, hey, you have a business, the sooner you can start now maturing your business. That can now start to open up opportunities, like I was saying before, about funding and financing. Because, hey, the reality is you picked an expensive industry. You picked an industry, the gear will always cost. Two camera lens can be over $10,000 real quick. One camera body can be over 10 grand. Lighting, software, batteries, hard drives. This gets expensive very fast. You're going to want and you're going to need assistance. And the smart way to do it is not by using your own money. Okay, that is rule number one. You're not going to be using your own money to pay for these things. You want to be able to establish your finances to where now your credit and you can leverage your credit to pay for these things, to help pay for these things. Okay, so those are just three things I wanted to give you guys that you need to think about when you are establishing your business, when you're establishing that video business. And I wanna go deeper into it because, and I made the mistake early, early on. I was so focused on the art, I let the business go to the back burner, okay? So more videos are on the way. Hopefully this will help you guys. If it did, appreciate the like, subscribe, and comment. Let's get it.